Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video showing you how I've got my iNav on-screen display to show in my Walksnail goggles. Yes, it absolutely does work. I've seen lots of people online say that it should, but it doesn't. It actually does. So let me show you what I've done to get it working. Because unfortunately, I am having to use a beta version of the firmware on these goggles. Uh, the version that should have been out by now, still isn't. Walks in, I'm still working on it. Uh, but I got my hands on it to kind of put it on here to give it a go. Now I've put the walk snail system in the nose of my beloved Atom RC Dolphin, my favourite plane slash wing of all time at the moment, and I am having trouble, or I have had trouble, getting the on-screen display to work. I tried pretty much everything. I tried all the usual stuff. Uh, I connected the transmit and receive pins from the walk snail avatar kit, the airside unit, to a UART on the flight controller, set that up for MSP telemetry, set it up for the DJI uh, on-screen display telemetry, which works with the DJI HD system, nothing would work. And after lots of back and forth and lots of head scratching and cups of tea, it's finally all working. So let me show you what I've done on the bench. Final thing, big thank you to the Walksnail support people who have helped me figure this out. I couldn't have stumbled on this. It was getting to the point where I was just about to give up and I finally found the magic combination. So let me show you what that is. So here on the bench, I was hoping to show you on the HDMI screen, um, potentially something with the latest firmware has upset this. So I can't show you on the little screen. I'm going to have to show you in the goggles. So apologies for that. Let me just unplug that. Uh, if I hold this up to the screen, hopefully you can see there that we have an on-screen display. We can see the number of satellites, the warnings, and all that goodness. Now this is running iNav, and it has probably taken me about two days to get this all working. So I thought I would document it. Again, in the introduction, I mentioned that this is um, kind of beta firmware that I'm running on here, but I've seen so many people say that this doesn't work. Um, I'm guessing the answer is it doesn't work yet unless you set it up like I'm going to show you. So the goggles and the airside unit have both been updated to the firmware version 2732.10. Needs to be on that for this to work. And I've connected the UART on the flight controller to the transmit and receive pin on the airside unit, just like you would with any other DJI HD system. If we jump onto the computer and we jump into ports, then we can see that the trick is what you have to do is set up the UART that you have it connected to, to HD0 VTX. Make sure that the OSD is turned on and then you can just drag and drop everything around as you would normally and it appears. So this kind of does work and I'm excited that it does. However, it looks like there's still a couple of tweaks needed in the final firmware. But as an iNav pilot, this is really exciting because not only will it display the basic stuff that you get from things like the DJI system without the latest um, kind of uh, break stuff that the community have done, it's all going to be in here. So just a very, very quick video to show you how it's done. I now 5.1 on the flight controller. This is running firmware 2732.10 on the walk snail system. Set up your hardware UART to be connected to the TX and RX pin. Don't forget that the TX pin on the flight controller goes to the RX pin on the avatar kit and vice versa. And then make sure that the other thing is set your um, font style or OSD to auto and it kind of figures it out and it all works. So hopefully there'll be more updates on this soon, but I just want to make this just to show you how I finally got it all working here. So just one final thought before I finish the video. Again, I am using beta versions of the firmware on this. That isn't ideal. I think there's lots of improvements that can come along with this and hopefully Walksnail will release that firmware soon. So this video is one of those that is probably going to become outdated relatively quickly. But I thought for other iNav pilots out there who probably like me have been struggling with this, this is how I've done it. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.